Well, Merry Christmas. My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. Our Christmas theme this year is called Peace Has Come. And so every Sunday at 9.30 and 11, we're talking about peace and the peace that comes from Christmas, the peace that only comes from Jesus Christ. But you're watching us now on YouTube, and this is where I'm reading our Christmas devotional. And we gave these away in church, but I realized that not everybody has one. And so I thought, you know, it's just as easy to throw it up on YouTube, sit down in front of the Christmas tree, read a page for you, and uh, we'll kind of just feel like we're all doing this together. So our reading is called Be Still and Know, and it's passage is Psalm 46, verse 10. And it simply says, Be still and know that I am God. If I asked our neighborhood for one word to describe this Christmas season, I guess that still would probably not even make the top 100. Nor would the word still be an accurate description of this past year. Let's face it. Life gets busier and more complicated all of the time. With just a few weeks to go until Christmas morning, the world is thinking about parties and presents and projects. And as quick as it arrived, it'll be over. So when are we supposed to experience the peace on earth that's promised to us? You know, Still, Still, Still is an Austrian Christmas carol and lullaby. The lyrics begin, still, 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 one can hear the falling snow, for all is hushed, the world is sleeping, holy star, it's vigil keeping, still, still, still. Isn't it interesting, in the book of Psalm, God commands us to be still. Why do you think that is? Maybe because we have such a hard time doing it on our own. What would happen if we actually took the time to be still? The answer lies in the very next sentence. Be still and know that I am God, and I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in all the earth. Spend some time today purposely trying to find a little stillness. Thanks for watching us today. Be sure to turn in tomorrow for our December 13th reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go, I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.